So let's uh, get started first with these generic speakers that I pulled out of the Vibe amp, which had a blown fuse and bought it for like 50 bucks online or something like that off a trade. And uh, this is gonna go through this generic speaker, generic. I don't know if it's a good speaker or not, but it shouldn't be like a, an amazing speaker because uh, I heard nothing and nobody raving about it, obviously. Um, so let's get started with some simple chords because I need to replicate the same playing, right? And it's not like I'm good anyways. So like a G chord. And I'm gonna keep all these settings uh, fairly neutral so then I'm not thump thumping around with the things and the settings after I change the speakers. So the only thing I'm changing are the patches and my output level, just so it doesn't go crazy on us, uh, on the volume. So I'll keep, I'll keep playing here. Just know that was single coil. Get some uh, rather cleaner sounds in there. Keep it clean if I can. Now I'm going to put this on super high gain here. Try different sounds, and uh, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll quickly do like a. I guess right now I'm gonna swap out the speakers, and uh, it's gonna be uh, a less Celestian, and uh, we're gonna swap out and see what happens next. So let's turn these off first. The Celestion G12F 60 watt speakers are in. Uh, originally uh, taken out of a Hughes and Kettner cabinet. So I'm gonna turn it on now and give it a try. See if we make a big difference. I feel like the volume's already a little different, but um, I'm not touching anything other than the, the input level. So then we could keep things the same. <laughs> clear already I think um, off of these speakers
like it's a little more like responsive, but I'll keep playing around. This patch is a little louder. <laughs> stuff going on so let's uh, do the same thing I mean, you can always EQ that a bit, but the clarity is, I, I feel, the clarity is there and um, it doesn't have the low ends, which I think I can add later on, uh, on the EQ, but the speaker originally, it, the, this new speaker seems to be more clear, which you can't clear up in the, so you kind of clear off the mud a bit. <laughs> Here's the final test. We're gonna plug this thing in and hear if it also makes a big difference uh, without a cap. And this is an open back cap, so the difference shouldn't be as subtle, but I can assure you it's still very obvious because I've tried it already. So let's put this in the middle, shut this down, and I'm gonna hook this up. So I have thrown this mic, uh, same setting, a little off center so you can kind of grab the whole sound of the speaker. And uh, from what I can understand, uh, there's a lot of the room ambience has to do with uh, how you he hear the speaker at the end. So let's give that a try. Right away I don't hear that low end pop anymore. a lot more like ambient and not like the bass is less and it sounds like it's go it doesn't sound like it's cased up somewhere but it to me it almost feels a bit loose like it doesn't have anywhere to go that sound So start start back at the very first position when we or very first so go back to the very first beginning when we started. Yeah, so right away you can hear there's a lot less bass and it kind of sounds like more ambient and it's kind of everywhere. Kind of sound like loose. Louder here. Feel 
like it's not as tight, it's really loose. So. And then now on humbucker on the neck position. some more chuggy uh, metal tones. Mm, see? So, no good. That's all we got for now. We're gonna take a big break and then we are gonna uh, try out the effects loop. And now that we are almost done, we're gonna try out the uh, 6505 Piranha and uh, give that a spin. I'm going to turn this on now on this orange cab, which is, I guess, more well known for other people. So it's nicer to use it as a reference when I talk about this amp. And you get to hear the difference also with uh, the orange cab, the, um, the other red cab that I salvaged uh, with two different speakers. Probably good to put the speaker table in there. So you often hear that pop, which totally never happened when, uh, when we had the bare speakers on just now. So that was really interesting. Wait for that to warm up. Again, uh, remember these are all the exact same settings out of this amp and the uh, effect pedal and uh, haven't changed anything. Uh, we will start to change things when I play with this. Right away, I can hear that I actually prefer the bigger cabinet. I feel like it's either the, it's definitely the speaker sized and also the way it's closed in. Um, this is a closed back cabinet, but it's also very tiny. So I guess a lot of the, the tone gets kind of trapped in there, right? So you can right away tell the difference. G chord with the single coil again. Sounds kind of like trapped in to me, for a lack of better word. And uh, the distortion seems to come out even more, and it kind of breaks up into distortion really, really soon. This normally should be pretty clean. And it's also quieter. Things are a lot different.
try some uh, chugging metal. There's not a lot of headroom on that. But I think the fact that this is a closed cab, uh, it's closed in the back. So you get that like chugging sound better, but then it's so small that you're kind of like, it doesn't sound quite right. Okay, here's a final last test on this guy without the help of the pedal. So let's hear how, how it originally uh, sound like uh, without the pedal. So let's get that going again. So I'm gonna turn this off. So the reason why I feel like I should switch to cab is because I can't really hear much uh, clarity out of this cab, in my opinion. And I feel like the bigger cab with the Celestian speaker seems to be more, um, it seems to be more dynamic. So I'm going to take this out, bring it back. And then finally try our last test, which is um, how this 6505 handles without, without the pedal. So far, this is my favorite sound out of this cab. And I think the reason is because it's a little bigger, so you can uh, get more sound out of it. Okay, so right away you can kind of like hear that washy sound, right? Which I uh, did not find with my other head, my Hughes and Kettner uh, Tube Meister, uh, which I'll probably demo one day. But um, it's not noticeable enough that I would feel like it bothers me, I guess. But anyways, Let's uh, go back to that uh, same, same sound. So I actually like it better when the volume was down and then I, I find like on the EQ settings, the notch could give you a better chug. And then the full, the EQ when it says full on it, it sounds uh, better on clean, in my opinion. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna quickly um, give you a big chug, give you some distortion, and then you can kind of hear how noisy this gets if I don't have a noise gate on, which is inside this uh, multi effects. Uh, so right now it's running through uh, an amp modeler, which I added on top of the clean channel of this amp, which I actually quite like. It sounds quite good for something that cheap and something with just a little preamp tube. So not much noise, right? And I'm gonna turn this off and I'll hook this back straight through the input of this so that it's basically got nothing but the amp. So let's do that. So no more effect loops. So right away you can hear all that noise, right? If you go on other YouTube videos, you probably know what it 
what all these three dials do. do. Um, but to me, I feel like uh, right away, this thing is amazing for its price, but it just needs a pedal to fix the EQ and to um, get rid of the, the extra buzzing noise and all that stuff that goes on this high gain uh, amp. <laughs> Try to get as clean as I can here. It's got the it's got a bit of the 6505 character but to me it's not quite what it is so let's try the extremes And then there's a crunch channel. I find that the crunch channel is way noisier, louder, but it, but if I crank the gain all the way up, it still doesn't have that 6505 high gain. It's not quite high gain enough. Doesn't got doesn't have that bite. And look how and hear how noisy that is without playing. Even if I turned it all the way down. <laughs> 